start with contracting sprites. Su Hao awakes to a greatly changed world. Even vegetation and mountains can become sentient. Even an antique saber can produce a sprite. There are other subjects in education. Being a sprite trainer is the most popular job. What's Sprite Stream? Basic Sprite Knowledge Volume 1, Standard Textbook for Regular High School Curriculum. What the? Wasn't I just reading for my biology exams? So how is flabbergasted as new memories and knowledge flood his mind? Being an avid web novel reader and otaku, what will Su Hao do? Of course, he decides to, first find a cheat. Chapter 1 Thud Nearing the start of the new term for his third year in high school, Su Hao, who was rushing his assignments madly, suddenly jolted awake when his head slammed against the desk. Ugh! His unfocused eyes swept across the textbooks and workbooks on the desk. Suddenly, he felt like something wasn't right. Multiple choice question. 1. A. Leaf blade lizard. B. Furry monster. C. Thorny turtle. D. Whirlwind bunny. Meow meow meow. Su Hao uttered. Whose idea of a prank was this? He looked at his surroundings, which were stacked to the brim with books on literature, mathematics, English, biology, chemistry, physics, and a book printed in color. The cover featured illustrations of a few unique-looking animals and a few large words Basic Sprite Knowledge Volume 1. Su Hao was bewildered. I must be too sleepy. He made a trip to the bathroom and rinsed his face. Then, he returned to the desk and picked up that book, which he had no impression of whatsoever. The cover of the book was rather exquisite. It was D4 sized, the same size as the literature and mathematics textbooks. The edges of the book were rather wrinkled and looked like it had been flipped through frequently. Su so Hao examined it closely, thinking to himself that it was probably a comic book that one of his classmates must have left behind at his place. However, his line of sight froze. There was a line of small text at the top of the book standard textbook for regular high school curriculum. There was also another line of small text underneath the book title. Research and Development Center of Guangnan for Foundational School Curriculum Resources. Written and edited by the editorial team for teaching materials related to sprites. After flipping open the first page of the textbook, two large words Su Hao were scrawled across the paper in a bold and handsome script, as though dragons and snakes were penned. They made one sigh in admiration. It was his handwriting all right. Could it be that? Suddenly, a ridiculous thought surfaced in his mind. Su Hao picked up his cell phone and swiped across the screen. It lit up. Ding dong. Ding dong. A notification appeared at the top of the screen. It was the familiar penguin messaging APP1, just that the penguin pictured in the app differed somewhat from the one in his memory. There was a text message from Lu Ren. Su Hao, tomorrow's the evaluation test for soul power. I'm so nervous. I won't fail it, right? If I can't contract a sprite. Sob. Su Hao was rendered speechless. I would like to take a break. Ignoring Fatty Ren's message, he opened the browser and scrolled through the trending news. Heavenly King Ma attends the summit meeting at Magic City with a blazing nine tails. The Ministry of Education implements nurturing of the new generation of sprites, announces important directives. The 5th National High School Sprite Trainer Tournament ends with Fire Phoenix University winning the championship. Candidate from Dragon City University, Chen Ting, crowned MVP. A confused Su Hao scrolled through the comments. At every day in Davirai night, Dragon City University sucks this time. My Chen Ting can't carry the other four. At Impotan Treyage, I heard that the prize for the tournament is the Fire Chick, the basic form sprite for the Fire Phoenix. Was Fire Phoenix University this generous because they knew a long time ago that they could win the title of champion? At Thikutest Kiduintha Village, sprites are so cute. Why do they have to battle? Sob. Su Hao put down his cell phone. His head hurt. He had a rough guess as to what was happening. 
I'm still myself. Uh, this world is no longer the world I know. After years of intensive novel reading, Su Hao accepted reality easily. Yeah, right. The divisive fork in the road of history happened approximately 60 years ago. The very first sprite on Earth was born at that time. According to the research of scientists, an unknown change took place in the universe. Defined as the revival of spiritual energy, the revival, in turn, led to changes in the environment on Earth. Plants grew even more abundantly, and within just a short few decades, new species of plants were discovered one after the other. Wild animals became even more ferocious and nimble, though they remained as animals. Humans also remained as humans. Contrary to what people had imagined, superhumans didn't emerge. Just that. The sprites naturally born by the universe possessed the inborn abilities to control flames, water, plants, etc. The mountain ranges birthed earth element sprites, the rivers and lakes birthed water element sprites, and what the plants birthed were, of course, wood element sprites. Sprites were creatures that were friendly toward humans. Strong and powerful sprites possessed abilities that could rival and even surpass firearms. After decades, the abilities of sprites had long been put to use in various aspects. There were also several big and important breakthroughs in technology. Compared to the original world, there was an obvious difference in the technology tree here. Technology meant to serve people was developing at an even higher speed, and there was even the existence of amazing creatures like sprites. The revival of spiritual energy in the world of sprites? And here I thought that I would be able to crush mountain ranges with my fists and cut off rivers and streams with my feet after the revival of spiritual energy. Fortunately. His parents were still the same, and his interpersonal relationships were also just like what he remembered. The school which Su Hao was studying in, An City First High, was still the best high school in An City. The only difference was that where subjects in the school used to be categorized only into the arts stream and sciences stream, there was now an additional sprite stream. In addition, the curriculum for the sprite stream only officially commenced when students entered their third year. Of course, there were also sprite-related compulsory classes that students of both the arts and sciences streams must attend during their first and second years of study. Su so Hao found a few second-year textbooks on his bookshelf such as the History of Sprites Volume 1, Things to Take Note of When Taking Care of Sprites in Their Infancy, Sprites and Sprite Trainers, and so on. He carried all the textbooks related to sprites over to the desk. The reason why students are divided into the sprite stream only in their third year of study is that one can only contract a sprite from their third year of high school onward. Also, I've already opted for the sprite stream at the end of the last school term. Su so Hao found a subject stream application form. He was relieved, even if he knew next to nothing about sprites right now. However, tomorrow's the evaluation test for soul power. Have an early night and keep yourself in good mental condition. Mom Su's voice came from the living room. After responding, Su so Hao swiped the screen of his cell phone. When he saw that it was only 23.45, he wasn't too bothered. It was still early. It seems like that fellow Lu Ren also mentioned that tomorrow is the soul power evaluation test. What exactly does that do? Su Hao tapped away on his cell phone again to look things up. After a while, realization dawned upon him. It was necessary for humans to have sufficient soul power during the process of contracting sprites. The Union of Sprite Trainers defined the amount of soul power needed to contract sprites in their infancy stage as one. Humans generally only possessed soul power of units 1 and above after they turned 16 years old. Only then would they be able to contract sprites and become a glorious sprite trainer in turn. For safety purposes, one needed to be accredited by a soul power evaluation test held by the relevant authorities before they could contract sprites. Tomorrow was the day of the evaluation test jointly organized by all the schools. Su so Hao understood now. He was extremely excited. He had no intention of sleeping at all, and neither could he get to sleep. He flipped through Basic Sprite Knowledge Volume 1, Sprites and Sprite Trainers, 
and the other books on the desk one by one, reading them with great interest. So, due to differences in the environments where sprites are birthed, sprites of certain elements are extremely rare. The three types of elements wood, earth, and water are the most commonly seen. The sprites which sprite trainers from ordinary family backgrounds can contract are practically from just these three elements. So, it was only until a few years ago that sprite trainers and regular people were practically mutually exclusive circles. The rarity of sprites in their infancy stage and the steep cost of nurturing made it extremely rare for a true sprite trainer to emerge from regular families. It was only in recent years that a breakthrough in sprite breeding technology allowed sprites to truly appear within regular people's sites. So, a contract between humans and sprites is mutually beneficial. A sprite's growth can, in turn, benefit the sprite trainer too. Besides raising the sturdiness of one's soul, it is also possible to slightly improve their physical body constitution. Though it can't be compared to the extent of a sprite's improvement. Sprites are the ones who are truly loved by the universe. However, a sprite's growth cycle is relatively long. From the point of birth, they usually need decades, up to almost a century, to reach adulthood. Only adult sprites would begin to possess combat abilities. But if they were to enter into a contract with a human, the amount of time sprites need in order to reach adulthood after they are born can be shortened by dozens of times. This was also the reason why there was a sprite battle segment in college entrance examinations after students started to contract sprites in their third year of high school. Su Hao put down the book, images of happy sprites filling his mind. He was looking forward to tomorrow's soul power evaluation test more and more. Ding! Intelligence points plus one. A voice rang out abruptly. Su Hao's finger froze. He rubbed his eyes and pinched his thigh. In the end, his line of vision landed on. Chapter 2 As a seasoned bookworm with years of reading experience, Su Hao was very experienced. Just the types of cheating devices he knew of alone numbered dozens and hundreds. But when it was his own turn, he didn't dare to harbor too high of an expectation in case the disappointment was greater. He spent a few seconds confirming that the voice that had rung out abruptly didn't come from his cell phone but his mind instead. My God! How exciting! When Su Hao's mind focused, it was as if he could see a screen. There was something on the screen. It was a 3D human model that was about as handsome as him. At the character's feet were intersecting paths and routes. It looked like a map. That's probably an AR mobile game interface. There was an eye-catching line of text, intelligence points, one, at the upper right corner of the interface. However, when Su Hao focused his attention there and jabbed at it, there was no response. At the bottom of the interface were two round icons. They were labeled sprites and index, respectively. He tapped and opened sprites, which returned a none. Then, he tapped and opened index which showed various unique black silhouettes. Su Hao had a look of bewilderment on his face. He didn't understand anything from these at all. Maybe this interface is related to sprites. Intelligence points are likely the key currency. Su Hao tried various ways, but he still couldn't find any way of utilizing the intelligence points. Neither were there related explanatory prompts labeled with question marks. It was only after several trial and error attempts that he was able to generally determine that reading textbooks and magazines related to sprites for a period would earn him intelligence points. The next day. Early in the morning, Su Hao got up, rinsed his face, and brushed his teeth. After finishing the meat bun and milk tea that his mother had prepared, he left the house on his bicycle. Su Hao visualized the mobile game interface in his mind and the intelligence points listed at an eye-catching area at the upper right corner were three. It wasn't a hallucination. His cheating device was still there, just that its function was still unknown. Su Hao shifted his attention away from it. He yawned and made his way over to the People's Hospital of An City. The People's Hospital was located at Feng Rong Street in the city district. Not very far from his home, it was only five to six minutes away by bicycle. 
it was already rather late by the time Su Hao arrived. From afar, he could already see a familiar big pancake face Lu Ren. He had a bowl cut and looked white and chubby. In terms of weight, he wasn't fat. It was just that his face was round and that he also had a roly-poly belly. Currently, Lu Ren was rather excited and also somewhat nervous. Hey, Su Hao, do you think I'll be able to pass the evaluation test for soul power? What if it doesn't hit one? During the previous tests organized for the third-year students, wasn't the majority able to pass? Like you said, that's the majority. But out of 100 people, there's bound to be 7 to 8 people who fare a little poorer. It may not matter much to other people, but I'm someone who has already resolved to be a sprite master. So, what if? Lu Ren began to fret again. Su Hao patted his shoulder. To sum it up, this was pre-evaluation anxiety, much like pre-examination anxiety. It was just that whether or not one could pass the soul power evaluation test was entirely up to fate. Alternatively, one could also wait a few more years. After all, he had never heard of any kind of tonic that could boost a person's soul power. At this point, Su Hao spied more and more students streaming in. Even though he didn't know most of them, he at least recognized the school uniforms. He was wearing his school uniform too. What was he to do when this was a school regulation after all? Aren't there too many people here? Su Hao found it strange. There must be at least several hundred students in their school uniforms. He asked, weren't there only three classes, with 100 students in total tops, in the sprite stream during the last round? This is normal, replied Lu Ren. If we were to go to the hospital or any other authorized organization ourselves to do an evaluation test for soul power, it would cost at least 2,000 yuan whereas the joint evaluation test organized by the schools costs only 500 yuan. Even if most people don't intend to apply for the Sprite stream, they don't lose out by paying 500 yuan for the evaluation test. After they are tested, they will receive the organization's certification and be able to use it if they wish to contract Sprites in the future. Who wouldn't come? Not just that, the ones getting tested today are just class 1 to our class 8. If the entire level comes, then, he he. By the way, isn't this common knowledge? Lu Ren's eyes widened suspiciously. When he saw Su Hao's dark eye circles, he said, stroking yourself a little is stress relieving, but major stroking is harmful to your body. And if you stroke any further, it'll damage your brain. Young lad, have some self-control. 9. Get lost. After understanding the reasons for the crowd, Su Hao pushed Big Face Lu away mercilessly, earning him an eye roll from Lu Ren. Her, men. Under the coordination of each class teachers, the first high students were brought to the consultation rooms for soul power evaluation. There were a total of five evaluation rooms, so the speed wasn't too slow. However, as someone from class 8, the last class, Su Hao waited outside for a very long time. Test results were released in real time. During the process, once in a while, students in the queue entered the rooms before coming out again. There wasn't much change in their facial expressions, however. This wasn't a test to evaluate one's aptitude for cultivation anyway. How strong or weak one's soul power was wasn't that important. Furthermore, Many people there didn't have the intention to contract sprites either. If it turned out to be strong, then that was great. If it turned out to be weak, it didn't matter much either. Perhaps there was the occasional student whose soul sturdiness didn't meet the requirements forcing a smile and pretending to be alright, as test results weren't publicly announced. Unless the person himself chose to reveal it everyone would have to wait for the school authorities to give out the result slips with concrete details instead. Chatterbox Lu knew quite a lot of people there. Unable to sit still, he ran about here and there to ask around about how the other classes were faring. Did you hear? There's a crazy guy in class 5. His soul sturdiness actually reached 2.1. 
The sole sturdiness levels of the few hundred people before Suhao were mostly between 1.0 to 1.1. There was also a small number of people who achieved 1.2 or 1.3. These numbers were relatively common. However, there were only a few people whose soul sturdiness levels exceeded 1.3. At the moment, the only ones known to exceed this number was someone with a level of 1.6 from class 1 and someone with a level of 1.8 from class 3. Lu Ren said agitatedly, that person with a level of 1.8 from class 3 actually isn't that big of a deal. But exceeding 2.0 is something different altogether. Su so Hao honestly didn't really understand. One night was only enough for him to get a general understanding of things. Fortunately, even without any prompting from him, Chatterbox Lu was already spilling all the details without even a moment's pause. The only thing Su Hao could do was to be forced to be his audience. Contracting a sprite in its infancy stage requires a soul sturdiness level of 1.0. Having a level of 2.0 and above means that one can contract two sprites at the same time thereby achieving a higher starting point. The soul power provided by two sprites can also allow the sprite trainer to grow faster. To put it simply, the elite will become even more elite. But this would only work on the condition that the sprite trainer could afford to provide for two sprites. So how wasn't the least bit envious? Seriously, as if someone like him from the cheating devices gang would need to be afraid of someone with amazing luck? even if his cheating device hadn't been topped up with any credit yet at the moment. Time passed, and in the blink of an eye, it was now there, the soon-to-be third-year Class 8's, turn. Lu Ren went in first. The room that he entered was room number three. After waiting for a moment, Su so Hao was called into room number five. The moment he entered the room, he saw two doctors dressed in white lab coats. One of them was middle-aged and looked about the same age as Mom Su. The other one was younger and likely a fresh graduate. A huge pure white device occupied a good half of the room. Following the instructions, Su Hao sat at the specified spot and put on a silver-gray headband. Pads connected to cables were stuck to areas such as his temples and arms. Mildly resembling an ECG, it probably also contained some kind of super-advanced technology related to sprites. Su Hao felt a little creeped out staring at it. Don't worry, it's rare for problems to occur during soul power evaluation tests, said the middle-aged doctor as he comforted him. That means problems occasionally do occur, right? Su Hao felt even more uneasy. There wasn't any special sensation during the evaluation process. Neither was he required to do anything. He was only instructed to relax his mind and slow down his breathing. About a few dozen seconds later, as the middle-aged doctor said, we're done. Then, the young assistant removed the headband sitting on top of his head. 1.38 Lad, your soul power is pretty good. Hey? Thanks, doctor. Su so Hao was dazed for a moment before he reacted. To say that he wasn't nervous would be a lie. The world had changed. With an occupation filled with a mysterious air around it like the Sprite trainer existing, and his family also supporting his decision to enroll into Sprite universities, should he fall right at the starting point before he even started to work hard, Su so Hao would be crestfallen. Fortunately, not only did his soul power exceed 1, it even reached 1.38. This also happened to be the first three digits of his cell phone number, though the ring of it didn't sound that great anyway. Now that he had passed the soul power evaluation test, he would be able to contract sprites, right? Chapter 3 The moment he exited, he noticed Lu Ren and a few other classmates discussing something excitedly. What's your soul power? Mine's 1.22, hehe. <laughs> Lu Ren had a silly grin on his face. The corners of his mouth, which were spread wide, made his originally round and fat face look even more like a large pancake. Su so Hao felt that this soul power value suited dummy Liu one very well. Upon thinking about it, Lu Ren seemed even more anxious than him. Hey, hey, it can't be that yours didn't reach 1.0, right? Cough, don't give up, bro. 
Even if you can't be a Sprite trainer, enrolling in a prestigious university isn't too bad either. And look for a job on the 996 system one after that. Cough. His response made Lu Ren choke a little. He examined Su Hao's expression. You don't look like your soul power didn't hit 1.0? You'll be able to contract a sprite as long as it can reach 1.0. It doesn't matter even if it's a little low. Don't worry. When I become a sprite master in the future, I'll take you under my wing. Black lines covered Su Hao's forehead. He didn't bother hiding it anymore. My soul sturdiness level isn't very high. It's just 1.38. Oh, 1.08. Pfft, wait, 1.18? 1.38. Big Face Liu's expression turned from a stunned one to a dubious one, then to astonishment before finally letting out a sharp howl. You're my, Lu Ren's, Klaus Hest Bwather in the future. No, get lost. Apart from Lu Ren, the other three were also his classmates from Class 8. Including himself, they were the only five people in the class who intended to apply for the Sprite stream and resolved to become Sprite trainers. The big, tall, and muscular one was Chen Qi. The one whose handsomeness was second only to Su Hao himself was Zhou Yu's. And the one and only female classmate, a girl who wore glasses, was Ma Something Mei? What was it again? Su Hao couldn't recall her name for a moment there. There were no hiccups with all of their soul sturdiness levels. Even the lowest among them managed to hit 1.06. Thus, all of them were able to contract sprites. The key here was which species of starter sprite were they going to choose? If we're purchasing sprites, it's best to go to the sprite free-ranging center in the neighboring Yunhua city. The scale of the sprite care house in our city is too small. They don't have many sprites for sale, and it's said that a lot of them are even leftovers. The unreliable Lu Ren had actually done his research a long time ago. Su Hao mused over it. The sole power of most 16 to 17 year old teenagers met the requirements. There was only one thing that restricted them from stepping onto the path of becoming a sprite trainer money. Just a regular infant sprite alone needed more than 10,000 yuan. The resources needed to nurture it after contracting it was another sizable sum too. While it was true that the Sprite Trainer was an occupation with great career prospects and was one that was even filled with a mysterious and exciting air around it, this would only be true if they passed the assessment. Not every family had the financial means and boldness of spirit to let their children opt for the Sprite stream. Should they spend a huge sum of money and end up being denied entry through the doors to becoming a Sprite Trainer? everything would be for naught. Su Hao felt very fortunate. Although he didn't come from a wealthy family, they were still able to afford the money to nurture a sprite. His parents were also open-minded enough to allow him to apply for the sprite stream. It was said that some years ago, during the era before the Union's sprite breeding technology had their breakthrough, just a regular sprite alone had cost tens of thousands of yuan. Su Hao counted himself lucky that he was born a few years later. The sprites at the Sprite Free Ranging Center are probably more expensive, right? asked Su Hao. Lu Ren replied, Yes, they are slightly more expensive, but spending a few thousand yuan more to choose a sprite suitable for yourself is in no way a loss. Su Hao nodded. His trip here today was worth it. If he hadn't known of the Yunhua City Free Ranging Center, he would definitely have bought his sprite from the sprite care house in an city. Chen Qi also nodded and said, for regular families like ours, wood element, earth element and water element sprites are definitely the top choices. Oh, wait, Lu Ren, your family's pretty rich, right? Just upper middle class. As though he was troubled, Lu Ren said, rare sprites, like the fire element and thunder element ones are impressive and powerful for sure, but there are definitely only going to be very few in the Sprite Free Ranging Center in Yunhua City. They may not be suitable for me. Then why don't you go to the capital or to Magic City? Yeah right, do you really think my family prints money bills? How would my father be willing to spend millions just to buy a super rare Sprite? Besides, 
the rarity of a sprite has no direct influence on their growth potential. Even the sprites in the main forces of many Heavenly King level sprite trainers are sprites that are commonly found. Zhou Yu's followed up. That's right. Heavenly King Jiang's starter sprite is precisely a normal long-armed gibbon. This species used to just be an expert at transporting bricks, but not only did Heavenly King Jiang's long-armed gibbon evolve into a superpower gibbon, it even broke through its limits and evolved into the very first mountain-moving gibbon in history. Which, in turn, led to the prices of infant long-armed gibbons inflating significantly now. Other than Lu Ren, Chen Qi and the others set their budget for their starter sprites at 15,000 to 50,000 yuan. Whether or not a sprite was expensive didn't equate to whether it was strong or weak. It was just that if one's pockets were deep, they would naturally have a wider variety of choices and be able to contract a sprite that they liked more. The Earth Element Little Stone Elephant is pretty good. The combat abilities of its basic form aren't weak. There is also a lot of potential in its final evolution, the Elephant General. I'd like a long-armed gibbon though, just that I found out after some research that it costs more than 50,000 yuan. And they may not even have stock in Yunhua City. Wood Element Sprites are pretty good. They are easy to nurture. Don't forget that we can't even be considered sprite trainer interns right now. Even if we're given a sprite with infinite potential, we may screw it up. The silk cotton owl, leaf blade lizard, green bamboo leaf, and so on are pretty good sprites too. The key factor here is that their prices are more reasonable. After bidding goodbye to Lu Ren and the other classmates, Su Hao went home and immediately switched on the computer to look up information about the Sprite Free Ranging Center in Yunhua City. Like the Sprite Care House, the Free Ranging Center was also one of the few organizations authorized by the Union of Sprite Trainers to sell infant sprites. There might still be more channels of purchasing sprites, but Su Hao's level of understanding about the world of sprites was still at a stage where he only had a superficial level of knowledge about them. What he was looking up right now were mainly the prices, appearance, evolution forms, and growth potential, etc. of starter sprites. He was going to contract a starter sprite very soon. Surely, he couldn't remain totally uninformed even at the sprite free-ranging center, right? He looked through information about the little stone elephant, one of the sprites listed as a potential candidate by his classmates. It looked just like a stone sculpture. It was a lot smaller in size, its height reaching approximately to his thigh, and looked charmingly naive. Its first evolution, the armored elephant, was as tall as two meters. Stone battle armor was draped over its body, and it had a pair of tusks that pointed upwards in front. There was exceptional visual impact even with just a mere glance. As for its second evolution, the elephant general, there was a relatively larger change in appearance. Instead of its original four-legged form, it took on a humanoid form where it stood on two legs. It was said that it was precisely because of its humanoid form that the elephant general possessed a rather high amount of versatility, and was able to learn several moves of other elements. However, Su so Hao couldn't find any scientifically proven evidence on this on the internet. Never mind, no matter how exceptional the little stone elephant is, I can't afford it anyway. Let's look at something more practical. Su so Hao wasn't sleepy at all, even after a night of research. During this time, he also had a short discussion with his parents, and set his budget for his starter sprite at 15,000 to 25,000 yuan. It couldn't match up with Chen Qi and the other classmates from regular families, but there was nothing much about this that Su so Hao could complain about. Compared to the classmates who also liked sprites, yet had to give up on the career path of a sprite trainer due to various reasons, he was already considered very fortunate. No matter what, he couldn't let his parents down. He would set a small goal first, enroll in a sprite university, and become an official sprite trainer. The next day, Su so Hao made a trip to the school again and got a certification slip for the Soul Power Evaluation Test. There were even stamps on it to prove that he had passed the checks by relevant organizations, such as an identity check, a criminal record check, and so on. 
not just anyone was allowed to purchase sprites from the Sprite Free Ranging Center and Sprite Care House. After thanking the teacher, he verified once more that he had indeed opted for the Sprite Stream. When the first term of his third year in school began, he would have to report to a new class, learn how to nurture sprites, and work hard to enroll in a sprite university. During the next three days, Su Hao cooped himself up at home. If he wasn't looking up information on the web, then he would be flipping through sprite-related textbooks to study. Once in a while, he would also study and examine the game interface that he could visualize in his eyes. The function of the intelligence points was still a mystery. However, they had already increased from 3 to 25 points. Apart from reading sprite-related textbooks, looking up information on the web for some time could also earn him intelligence points, just that the efficiency was lower than reading books. As expected, books were what made people happy, after all. Chapter 4 the illustrated guide published by the Union of Sprite Trainers contained hundreds of types of sprites. Nevertheless, sprites were still a rare thing for the ordinary person. Su Hao had never managed to see a sprite with his own eyes, partly due to him spending most of his time at home. Sprites of rare elements such as thunder, light or darkness weren't less in variety than those of wood, earth, and water elements, but only less in numbers. The environments for breeding those sprites were harsh. Not to mention ordinary people, even real sprite trainers, may not have seen really rare sprites. It was Sunday. The weather is sunny and suitable for going out. Su Hao's parents were going to accompany him to the free-range sprite breeding center. Su Hao couldn't conceal his excitement he would finally see real sprites. He actually wanted to go there earlier himself, but how would his parents let him? a third-year high schooler to be to go alone for such an important matter. Father Su started the car, turned on the navigation system, and drove toward the free-range sprite breeding center with Su Hao and Mother Su. The destination was built on the outskirts of Yunhua City, about two hours' drive away. It was the time for third-year high schooler to be to contract sprites, and the main road near the free-range sprite breeding center was already lined up with cars on the far right side going all the way to the intersection, taking up a large part of the road. Undoubtedly, the parking lot in front of the free-range center had been full since long ago. They parked the car at another parking lot around one kilometer away and walked to the free-range center. Lush trees lined the two sides of the road. Cars came slowly from the opposite direction once a while. Most people were like them, walking over in groups of two or three. Some had already bought sprites, and the parents rushed back with the students with sprites in their arms. Su Hao's eyes widened. A bit different from what he had searched online, the sprites in their arms looked even younger. Presently, even a little stone elephant, which was pretty heavy, was only the size of a school bag. It was carried in the arms of a petite girl. However, Su Hao felt the heaviness by just looking at it. Little stone elephants were not for him, indeed. It was definitely not because of reasons like not being able to afford it. He also saw round fluffy balls, many pigs only the size of a palm it was said that its evolved form, rumbling pig, was a type of huge, muscular pig bubbling turtles with bubbles coming out of their mouths, penguin XS with a mark of X on the stomach, and little peas with a large head, a small body, and a pouty mouth. There was also the fire element Little Charcoal Tortoise, one of the Union recognized five element sprites for beginners, with high potential. It was actually sold at the free range sprite breeding center of Yunhua City. Su Hao looked and felt dazzled. He also looked forward to it more and more. The free range sprite breeding center was a huge dome building with a vast area. Inside, there was a water environment, forest environment, rugged hills and neatly trimmed grasslands, just like a small ecosphere. Hello, please register. After entering the free-range sprite breeding center, a staff member greeted them. There were no ordinary salesmen chattering on to sell items, but over here, the first thing to do was identity verification. Su so Hao took out that document of proof for soul power, then signed his name at the front desk before following that young man inside. After going past a gate, 
a green lawn appeared in front of them, along with many running, leaping sprites. As they walked, the young man made introductions. Does Mr. So already know about the types of sprites we sell here? Do you have sprites that you like? Let the child choose himself. Yes, yes. Su Hao's parents didn't have many opportunities to see sprites on ordinary days as well, and they had long been enchanted. Of course, they actually couldn't name many sprites, and they didn't make random decisions. They were only responsible for swiping the card in the end. I'll look a bit more, said Su Hao. The staff member smiled. It's a starter sprite, after all. It has to be chosen carefully. Currently, Su Hao's attention was completely focused on the game interface that appeared in front of his eyes. At first, after he looked at many sprites, suddenly, a cue tone of intelligence point plus one sounded, which made Su Hao open up the interface. Unexpectedly, he saw that their surroundings were no longer empty street blocks. Instead, there were sprites scattered in twos and threes. There were sprites everywhere. Of course, Su Hao couldn't find an option for catching. He felt it to be a bit of a pity. But when he focused on a certain sprite, suddenly, an information box appeared. Sprite, Big Eared Rabbit. Basic Information, Earth Element, Juvenile Stage. Introduction, When the Big Eared Rabbit is sad, it wraps its whole body with its ears to bring warmth. When it is happy, its ears dance. It also likes to use its ears as its weapon. Detailed information, unlock with one intelligence point. Breeding method, unlocking conditions not met. Evolution, click. Big eared rabbit a dark silhouette, unlock with three intelligence points, a dark silhouette, unlocking conditions not met. This is it. I finally found out how to use the intelligence points. Su so Hao had known about the evolved forms of the big eared rabbit from previous research. Its first evolution was Whirlwind Bunny and Rabbit Tusky II. He had also seen their pictures, and the looks matched the black silhouettes in the information boxes. However, it didn't seem very useful to him. Su so Hao suppressed the urge to use intelligence points and just walked and looked, but in fact, he clicked on the information boxes of the sprites. That's a wood mantis, right? Yes. Wood mantis is a pretty good kind of sprite. Although it only has one level of evolution, both the original form and the evolved killer mantis are considered rather powerful sprites. Few sprites can match killer mantis in short-range outbursts. Su so Hao knew that, as the wood mantis was also one of the popular sprites for beginners. The first level evolved Killer Mantis had a growth potential no less than the second level evolution. Most importantly, it was powerful at an early stage, giving one a better chance at sprite universities in the future. As a result, although Wood Mantis was common, the price was quite high. It was a bit difficult for the Sua family to buy the Wood Mantis. But all those were not the reason Su Hao was surprised. In his eyes, the wood mantis actually had two evolutionary pathways. The first evolved into a state with an outline of wings and a narrow tibia, probably the killer mantis. The other pathway had a second grade evolution, with an outline that he couldn't figure out. It's very likely an undiscovered evolutionary pathway. It was a bit more expensive to unlock the first level evolution of the wood mantis second pathway than that of the big eared rabbit. Su so Hao hesitated for a moment but he still used five intelligence points to unlock the first level evolved state. Now, he was left with 21 intelligence points. One forearm was soon lifted, and the image of a mantis that looked like it was praying appeared. Prayer Mantis, Changeable At the same time, the Prayer Mantis basic information appeared, as well as the method to evolve the Wood Mantis into a Prayer Mantis. Cultivate for three months or more with Light Element Essence, replaceable, then grow the wood mantis to a mature stage and learn more than one light element unique skill, in the meantime the strength of spirit power and spiritual force must reach a certain standard. It was very easy for a wood mantis to evolve into a killer mantis. The trainer should cultivate it to a mature stage and assist it with some wood element essence to successfully evolve it. 
In comparison, the prayer mantis evolution was much more difficult. No wonder it was never discovered. Nevertheless, the evolution method Su Hao obtained with five intelligence points was very detailed. He was confident in cultivating a sprite unseen by the world with the methods there. The real issue was money. Not only that, but the conditions for the prayer mantis evolution were also more difficult. Correspondingly, the evolved sprites had greater potential. It might be comparable to those rare sprites that couldn't even be bought with money. Su so Hao could only express his mood at this moment with a sh asterisk t. The second level evolution required 20 intelligence points and Su Hao wasn't willing to pay that. The price of 300,000 yuan for the wood mantis was still pretty high. He hoped to choose a sprite that did not burden his family so much. If he really had no other choice, he would consider the wood mantis again. Chapter 5 Su Hao spent more than two hours looking. The staff member didn't accompany him all the way. Of course, there were still many security officers around to keep order, in case someone harmed the sprites. There were also many families like theirs, who looked like they were in a zoo. Dad, Mom, you guys rest first, I'll look a bit more. Su Hao's parents were more than 40 years old, and their energy levels were no match for the young. Su Hao told them to sit down under a tree at the side to wait. I think that something mantis looks good. Mother Su had noticed that Su Hao's look lingered on the wood mantis for quite long. No, I want to look a bit more. Su Hao shook his head. Apart from the wood mantis, he discovered several other sprites with yet undiscovered evolution pathways. Of course, he didn't spend intelligence points to unlock them and couldn't know the other pathways details. However, he estimated that those undiscovered evolution pathways had pretty difficult evolution conditions, which often meant that the sprites from that pathway had greater future potential. Also, the sprites themselves were mostly relatively affordable, not like the little stone elephants that cost 400,000 to 500,000 yuan, or the long-armed gibbons, which were out of stock and cost 600,000. Su so Hao's look stopped on a tree tens of meters away. A sprite whose body was light yellow and looked like a silkworm was squirming on the branches. It was the silkworm baby, one of Su Hao's favorite sprites. In the records of the Union of Sprite Trainers, most sprites only had one evolution pathway, and the silkworm baby was a rare sprite that had a second evolution pathway. Silkworm baby rolling pupae white plumed moth. Silkworm baby six-winged flying silkworm golden-winged sky silkworm. Su Hao remembered it clearly because the golden-winged sky silkworm was frequently tested in exams. The golden-winged sky silkworm's wings were as hard as a blade, and its speed as fast as a flash of light. It looked like it was metal element, but in fact, it was still a wood element sprite. In the silkworm baby's first evolution pathway, its final evolved form, white-winged moth, was commonly used in production and had ordinary battle power. The second evolution pathway's final form, Golden Winged Sky Silkworm, was a recognized strong powerhouse. Unfortunately, the initial form, Silkworm Baby, had limited combat power, causing the number of students choosing to contract it to be relatively lower. However, in Su Hao's eyes, the Silkworm Baby had a third evolutionary pathway. The first pathway required three intelligence points to be unlocked. The second pathway required four intelligence points to be unlocked. As for the third pathway, it required six intelligence points to be unlocked. This was why Su Hao felt inclined to contract the silkworm baby definitely not because the silkworm baby looked chubby and pretty cute. Although a famous person had once said that strength could be improved by throwing in money, cuteness was a lifetime's matter. While Su Hao was observing, another student bought a silkworm baby, which made him a little anxious. I have to make my decision quickly. I may not have many choices left later. Su Hao focused and looked at the game interface in front of him. Then he selected the Silkworm Baby's third evolution pathway and pressed unlock. At once, six intelligence points were deducted, and only 15 points were left. 
A butterfly with big eyes as clear as water and beautiful emerald green patterns on the wings appeared on the evolution pathway. Reverie Butterfly, Wood Element This was the silkworm baby's third, undiscovered evolution pathway. Su Hao looked carefully, and after a moment, he was slightly relieved. The reverie butterfly's development potential is outstanding, while the evolution conditions are simpler than the prayer mantis conditions. I can probably evolve the silkworm baby into a reverie butterfly before the college entrance examination. What's up with the final evolved state though? It actually requires 30 intelligence points to unlock it. A staff member asked while pushing up the frame of his spectacles, are you sure you want to contract a silkworm baby? After Su Hao's parents ascertained that he did not choose it because he wanted to save money, they didn't say much. Su Hao nodded. But I want to choose which one in particular. That's no problem. The staff member opened the wooden fence and let Su Hao approach. A silkworm baby was only a few months old, the length of a palm. Its whole body was light yellow, with faint green patterns on its back. There were eight short legs underneath. It looked chubby and soft, like a caterpillar bread, and even the size was similar. Su Hao felt hungry just by looking at it. The silkworm baby's chubby body shook as Su Hao stared at it. Then, it rapidly crawled to the other side of the tree. Pretty good agility, Su Hao commented seriously. Silkworm babies liked the quietness, and the free-range area wasn't large, only the space of several trees. On the tree trunk, branches and leaves many bread loaves. No, silkworm baby sprites hang. With the naked eye, Su Hao couldn't see any difference between these sprites. After all, they were all bred in a batch by the union of sprite trainers, and they were all in the juvenile stage. Perhaps only an experienced sprite cultivator would be able to see the differences between them. Su Hao locked his eyes on a specific silkworm baby and used one intelligence point to unlock its details. Length, height, weight. Physical attributes, spiritual strength. Age, characteristics. Introduction, silkworm babies generally live in warm forest environments. They like to move slowly. Their characters are meek, but when in danger, their short legs can unleash unimaginable speed. Their endurance is slightly poor. The wood element patterns on their backs will darken as the silkworm babies grow, helping them understand wood element techniques. They can also absorb nutrients from plants to fasten their speed of recovery. Note, this is a silkworm baby born at the green-blue wood element sprite breeding base. It likes lightly flavored food such as tree leaves, bamboo leaves, and tea leaves. It dislikes sour and spicy tastes. It was sent to Yunhu a juvenile sprite free-range center. A stream of information flowed into Su Hao's mind. It seemed that he didn't even need to look much, as these pieces of information would be recorded down in his brain. Among them, Physical attributes and spiritual strength were important factors that decided the strength of a sprite, especially spiritual strength. With limited intelligence points, Su Hao could only pick sprites that looked good to him to unlock their information. Overall, he unlocked detailed information for 16 silkworm babies. In the process of observing and unlocking the sprite's detailed data, he gained one more intelligence point. The 16 silkworm babies ranged from the age of 3 to 9 months old. Before contracting, sprites grew very slowly, 3 months and 9 months both were in the juvenile stage, there was practically no difference. However, after getting the detailed data of 16 silkworm babies, Su Hao already had clear measuring criteria in his mind. After a closer look, he soon discovered some subtle differences, and even he himself was surprised. Su Hao pondered for some time before pointing at a silkworm baby hiding behind leaves. This is the one. This silkworm baby wasn't outstanding in data for length, height, weight, and physique, but it contained more spiritual force in its body, and it was already a pretty significant difference in Su Hao's eyes. After all, sprites bred by nature hardly had poor qualifications, and the data indicators were very close among juvenile stage sprites. The differences came from the nurturing, 
and really brilliant juvenile sprites couldn't possibly be sent here to be chosen by a bunch of students. Those sprite breeders weren't blind. The staff member took out a special spray and sprayed it on the grass. Immediately, the silkworm baby on the tree crawled down with its short legs, circling the sprayed lawn. Su Hao's eyes kept following the silkworm baby that he favored. The staff member also didn't mix it up. After feeding that silkworm baby some jade powder, he picked it up. Its short little legs kept kicking in the air. Led by the staff member, Su Hao's family arrived at a silent room used for contracting sprites. The contracting wasn't complicated, it only took a drop of blood. When one bought a sprite, whether at a free-range center or a sprite house, the contracting service was always included, which, on the other hand, was also to prevent the sprites from being resold. The blood-collecting apparatus pierced Su Hao's finger pulp, collecting a dark red drop of blood. Then, the staff member took out a portion of sprite food, jade powder, to feed to the silkworm baby that was just crawling around with big curious eyes. After that, he mixed the blood drop into the jade powder and let the silkworm baby both at once. Without any fancy contracting arrays or any obscure and difficult contracting spells, the contracting between humans and sprites was just so simple and casual, as if sprites were born just to be contracted. In an instant, Su Hao had a vague feeling that his heart and mind were connected with the silkworm baby. This feeling became clearer and clearer. The silkworm baby gave him a puzzled look circled him a few rounds, and crawled up along the side of his trousers. Su Hao's parents were both struck by the cuteness and reached out, wanting to feel it, but the silkworm baby nimbly dodged and crawled onto Su Hao's shoulders. Su Hao held the silkworm baby in his palm and looked into its big, watery eyes. Silkworm baby, from now on, we will work hard together. Squelch.